Now I'd like to give a very brief description of uh, design science and action research. Um, it'll be brief because there are great volumes written on these things and I can't, I can't give it in five minutes. However, um, design, science, design and uh, intervention are things that you may well do as part of your ass assignment. So we'll look at these two. Action research uh, is where you've got a situation, you, you caused an intervention and you look at what happened. Okay? Uh, so this could be um, you introduce a change in work practices and you observe what happened. Design science is, is where you want to create something new. And uh, so you go and do that and you, you examine the result of it all. So let's have a look at those two. Now, distinguish be distinguishing between research and hackery. This is important. Um, now, it's been expressed by um, a marksman that if you want to, to uh, get really good results, well, you just shoot first and then whatever you hit, you call it the target. And this is hacking, all right? There is very little merit in just developing something and then you know, whatever, whatever you, you finished up developing, well, that was what you intended to develop all along. That's not research. That's just hacking. With action research, similar kind of thing. Uh, the whole idea with action research is that you should observe the situation all right. You plan your intervention. You predict the result of the intervention. This is important. You must predict the result of the intervention. It can't be, oh, we'll just do this and see what happens. You are obliged to, to predict what happens. Otherwise, uh, you're just messing about and wasting everyone's time. You make the intervention. You observe the same situation. And then, did the intervention cause the change? Or was that coincidental? Uh, there's a very famous experiment about uh, coincidental interventions, and it's called the Hawthorne Bank Lighting Experiment. They're repeatedly observing the same effect from the same intervention. It gives you confidence that one is related to the other. Not certainty, but confidence. The Hawthorne Bank Lighting Experiment was when they were investigating uh, work practices at uh, General Electric, and they changed the lighting intensity and found that productivity went up. I thought this was neat, so they changed it again. Productivity went up. Uh, and they kept, I think it was increasing the level of lighting, and productivity continued to go up. And so they concluded this is great. And I wrote, wrote up their report, and uh, said that was, that was wonderful. Increase the uh, level of lighting, and the productivity goes up. Uh, so just before they finished, they thought, well, we'll put the level of lighting back to what it was, um, because we can't speak on behalf of the company. They put the level of lighting back to what it was in the first place and productivity went up. From that they concluded that productivity was related to the amount of attention that people got, not the lighting. Now design science, there is a difference between well-conducted research, design research and simply futzing about. As I said before, if you just uh, mess about and produce something and then call it the result, that's hacking, that's not design. With design science, the essential element appears to be you predict what you're going to do and what the result's going to be. So I'm going to develop this, it will have these characteristics, it will do these things. Right? That, that prediction uh, and the discipline of predicting and, and trying to achieve that prediction distinguishes design science and deliberate research from hacking. And if you're going to do something in this assignment, this is what you must do. You must have a reasonable prediction before you start doing your design.